you kidding me right now? you. You're so silly. <laughs> oh, sleepy boy. <laughs> Look at you. You're a lasagna. <sighs> night, night, Soxy. They were sleeping so soundly. And when I reached for my phone, I bumped the desk, and it woke up Dante, and now she's giving me the face. Go back to sleep, baby. Okay, so I was thinking of doing this for the February year-round Halloween something, something, stitch along. The month of February is gone. But I was supposed to stitch something with a ghost, so I thought this would be cute. Can you tell me why a needle book... Don't want to put the pattern in there. Why the needle book needs a hanger? Like, I feel like they got halfway through the directions and realized that, oh shoot, this was supposed to be an ornament. But they never changed anything. I'm just asking. It can be what it wants to be. This is America. We can still, well, not everybody, but many of us could still be what we want to be. I don't know. I'm just asking. Hey, who remembers this thing that I started like a million years ago and never did anything with it? I think I'm going to work on this tonight. Um, it is Sunday night. The Olympic closing is tonight. I don't want to work on something that I have to pay too much attention to. I want to pay attention to that. So I think that's what I will do. I will check in with you later. Bye, guys. Well, the Olympics are over. And I got a little more of the purple filled in around here. Not much of a stitchy night. More of a coffee and probably falling asleep for 10 minutes at a time sort of night. But whatever. <laughs> it's it's done now. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any more stitching tonight. I'm just going to go watch some videos, try to get caught up a little. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to watch them on 1.5 so that they move along just a little quicker and hopefully get caught up. Tomorrow is Monday and Monday I'm usually around, so I will talk to you then. Bye, guys. Handsome boy. Halloween. It's a vegetarian holiday. I bet you didn't know that. There is no wrong time of the year to send me a postcard with Halloween on it. And this is from Jay from way across the ocean. I was so pleased to come home to this and, and find it and read that uh, our dearest Jay is doing better and feeling better and feeling stronger. And hopefully we can be here to help her feel even better. Tonight is the night. Brown, chicken, brown. Okay, never mind. Um... I've got Death by Cross Stitch. I'm sitting on the bed. The Lowry is uh, lowering. I've got Andrea in Colorado. I'm sorry I paused it there, sweetheart. We're going to give this a go. Because if I can sit in here and watch TV and work on Death by Cross Stitch, I have half a chance of maybe finishing it. Eventually. We'll see. I'll check in later. Bye, guys. Well, we made a little progress. Um, first night, hanging out with the Lowry up here. I'm going to give it a B. Um, it works. It works fine. It's, uh, it's a little low. 
And so I find myself kind of whacking the, uh, the frame every once in a while. This portion here kind of gets in my, maybe like every 20th stitch I hit that and it annoys me because I can see it. It's right there, but I keep whacking it. So maybe I'll try to find something I can prop it up on or find a way to the, you know, the L bend rod goes and sits down on that peg. So maybe I can find a way to put something in there that sits on the peg that holds this up a little higher. I don't know if I figure it out, I'll show it. I'll show you how. Um, if I don't figure it out, I'll just stop talking about it. But I did. I made some headway. And that's good. Because if I can even work on this a little bit, a lot more often, it's going to start moving. And there's going to be some things like this. I assumed that this was going to go a lot faster because there's a lot more white space. It's less dense. But there's so much more counting and there's so much more planning where the next stitch goes. Whereas like if I was doing the lattice or even like, you know, down here, it's a little more mindless and it's a little closer. So it's just stitch, stitch, stitch. It's not stitch count, stitch count. Did I put it there? No, it goes up here. No. Oh, is it supposed to be five? Cause that's six. Rip it all out. Yeah. Y'all saw that video. So it's been good, but it's 1030. I'm tired. Guess who's on my screen? I'm going to finish watching some videos, have some more coffee, and I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Getting a late start tonight. It's uh, like quarter of nine. But I decided not to do death by cross stitch tonight because I just wanted to work on something little and something light and something I didn't have to wrestle. So I've got my Letha all set. I've got my light in a new location here. Love me my hot light. And, uh, yeah, you know, so, so some broad on the TV. I think that's, who is that? Oh, it's Michelle. Of course it's Michelle. Tuesday night makes my night. Um, let's see how far I can get before I go unconscious. Well, I was going to work on this more, but then I got distracted and coffee and snacks happened and that's how that ended. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow's dinner at dad's. Tomorrow is wine. So maybe not so much with the stitching. Thursday night, I'll be at Brian's. So there may not be another clip until Friday. Friday, I think we're going to try to do uh, maybe a few giveaways. Um, you know, the magazine patterns. And I don't know, maybe a stitch with me. Maybe not. Maybe not on death by cross stitch. Maybe on something that I could actually pay attention to or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out. The outlook is fuzzy. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Who's got 16 count Black Ada? This girl. Who's going to start the skull banner? Oh, yeah. Uh, as soon as I dye my threads, which I think I know how I want to do it, I am going to start the Alessandra Adela Adelaide. Adelaide. I'll say it different every time. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So I've got some Ada. I've got some Petite Treasure Braid because Krynik, no thank you. And some new Q-Snap snaps. Snap to snap. <sighs> I'm out of breath. It's Thursday night. There's talk of weather tomorrow. I don't know if that means I'm going to work from home. We'll find out. Right now, I'm going to go work on my Mill Hill kit. Watch some Bruins, have some coffee. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. There's some manner of protest going on. Something about not giving him enough lunch. Hey. Soxy. Nope, not paying attention. 
This is what I look like when I'm ignoring you. Hey. Hi. Are you mad at me? You look mad at me. Oh, Soxy. Branches and wires, not nerve wracking at all. No. Flooding in the yard, not upsetting. Nope, nope, not even a little bit. These trees are strong. My trees are strong. Say it with me, my trees are strong. Don't be alarmed. It's just my face. I don't need to thumbs down anything. Um, I figured I would take some time today. It's Friday. It's usually the last day that I collect clips to put into the weekly video. So I wanted to make sure that I got the giveaway in. Uh, we're giving away three more patterns from the stack of random things that my coworker gave me. Also, Probably after this, you're going to see some floss dyeing. I was going to do a stitch along today, a stitch with me. These are different things. Um, but first, I do not feel like dragging out death by cross stitch. I don't feel like picking out death by cross stitch after I screw it up. And I don't feel like setting the camera up. We're lucky we got this going. So this is where we're at. Uh, let's see. Let's just jump in. First pattern. In fact, let me start with, I'm going to start with this one because, as I will show you, it's got writing on it. It's got writing on it. Not on the pattern, but on the key. So this one is called Home Deck Check Towels. And this is, looks like it's Designs by Sandy Orton, Leisure Arts. All right. So what we've got, get this here, is welcome towel, hold on. Um, one of the towels has a welcome, one has some little strawberries, one has, I think, lavender. That is lavender. But you can see on the key that, you know, she crossed some things out and wrote some stuff. So that is there. But you know what? It's free. Um, and it has the patterns for all three on here. The pattern on the back of this page, unfortunately, it's only half. I don't know what the other half looks like, but if I find it, maybe I'll, I'll put it in there with it. And uh, yeah, oh, unfortunately, no patterns for those. But we've got the welcome, the strawberries, and the lavender. So, if you would like me to send this to you, fold it up in an envelope, the bendy stitchy way, please put in your comment, I would like to stitch the towels. I would like to stitch the towels. Please don't mention giveaway. All right, the second one, all right, this is the second one. Peace to this home. And it is like a little detail there and a band. But the pattern is actually across two pages and I'll try to kind of hold it up sort of. It has, you know, a primitive angel on the top and then it has the band and then it has the welcome and then there's another angel at the bottom that aren't pictured. So you get all that, all that. Um, and I'm very sorry because the Christmas story that's on the back of this, no pattern. There's no pattern in anything that I can find and they're adorable and I'm sorry. This comes from also Leisure Arts, designed by Linda Spivey. But I don't know what magazine this was maybe from. It's just Leisure Arts. So I would like to stitch to this home. And lastly, because we have to have some Christmas, year-round Christmas, 
Okay, on this page we have Snow Santa and Friend, and I'm gonna kind of bring this in. Can you hear the wind? We're having like a nor'easter kind of windy, rainy chaos thing going on out there. In fact, I'm logged into work. I'm waiting for terrible things to happen. Um, but I digress. So this is, let me come in from this way. So he's cute. Look at him. I'm trying to look and see. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. So we have this little guy. He is Snow Santa and Friend. I love that reindeer. I should just ditch the reindeer before I send it to you. It's so cute. And on the back is Angel Towel. And the pattern for that is here too. So you get both. And uh, does not look like there's any writing on these. So these ones are pretty clean. So how about I would like to stitch Snow Santa. Snow Santa will get you that one. When do you have to comment by? You have to comment by Thursday. Hold please, I will get you a date. All right, please comment by Thursday, March the 8th. And I will draw them either late Thursday night or Friday evening before I get to stitching or get to do anything else. And I don't know, maybe we'll use the random generator. Maybe we'll use the comment picker. Ah, we'll do one of those things. I meant to ask a question, I think last time, and I didn't. So I'm gonna ask now. My friend Brian is a lot smarter than I am. And when I showed him the random comment picker and said, it would really be great if you could get it to narrow it down so that it would only pick from comments that have a certain keyword. He was like, that should be pretty easy. You should be able to do that. So I was kind of going to ask him if he can create that. If he creates that, do you trust us with, you know, these little patterns? Not like, it, would it feel rigged? Would it feel, would you not feel comfortable that he built the engine that's picking the winners sort of thing? I don't know. Is that weird? Am I the only one who thinks like that? I can't be. Uh, if anybody knows the people who do the random comment generator, keywords, we need keywords. Um, either that or YouTube should get on the bandwagon and have a way for us to pick these things easier than we do it now. I think that is all I have for this little thing. I'm gonna go downstairs and try to do some tea dyeing, try to do some, um, well, it's gonna be red dyeing. I'm not gonna call it blood dyeing because that's nasty. But we're gonna see if I can nasty up some skeins of floss for the skull banner that I'm hoping to start this weekend, hoping. Um, maybe if I can, no promises, the stitch with me for next week will be starting that project. That would be kind of cool. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? I think it would be. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going downstairs. I'm logging out of work. I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. All right, we've got two skeins of white, two skeins of a crew, a Lizzie Borden mug filled with tea, could possibly go wrong. Oh yeah, and bloody red drippy stuff. We'll see how this comes out. I'll check in in a few. Can you bake your tea dyed floss? We're about to find out. If you ever think that your life is going just a little too smoothly and you think, what can I do to make myself crazy? Go ahead and try to unknot wet floss. Go right ahead. Be my guest. Eh, not what I was going for. Um, they, actually, they look more pink in the camera than they look in real life. But like these two, I think started out as the white and they really picked up the red. Whereas the Acru kind of allowed it to be, you can probably see they're a little more variegated. This one you can kind of, a little bit. Whereas this seemed to get more of the pink all throughout it. So, I don't know. I also don't know how much I need 
because if you go to one, two, three stitch and put the skull banner, you know, bring up the skull banner and it'll show you, you know, the two or the one DMC and the, I think it's a Krynek that you need. And it only has one skein. But this seems like a big banner. Like one skein is just not going to cut it. Because I guess if I was just going to use one, I would probably pick this one and just use it. I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe I wanted that red a little redder. Oh, now I got to go think about it. All right, I will check in later. Oh, but side note, yes, you can bake your thread, but it doesn't seem to get that nice, crispy, weird modeling. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Bye. All right, it is Friday night and eight o'clock. Already sitting on the bed. Got, who is that? Is that Dante helping me? Yeah, helping. That's what we'll tell people. Getting ready to work on Letha watching some lollipop stitches because I should be. So should you. Um, what else do we got? I found a box to put the, I'm not gonna, the floor is the floor next to my bed and you know you don't want any part of that. Um, suffice it to say that the Lowry is sitting on a box and it's now much higher and we will see if it's easier to stitch on. Oh, report back. My lamp is over there on the floor because I got all comfortable and trapped behind my stand and left it down there. So we're going to try to stitch this in very little light. <sighs> I know. Challenges. I'll check in later. Bye, guys. Well, for a night that I didn't feel much like stitching, I did a fair amount of stitching. Let's just look at it. Go ahead. It's the elephant in the room. It'll be a flower. It'll be fine. Just right now it looks a little pendulous. Um, only had to pick that out because sat here complaining because they used almost the same color for that little side piece. No, no, they didn't actually. I just picked the wrong color. So yeah, the primitive hair knows what she's doing. Don't question it. it. Will always be you that did the wrong thing. Um, it's eleven. I'm gonna stretch out. I'm gonna be comfy. Stitching all the things, all the things. She stitches the best things. <sighs> this will be. This should be the end of the video. I want to thank you all for subscribing and sticking with it for this long, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.